Welcome to Davos. This is the last day of the World Economic Forum 2017. CEOs and heads of state are starting to leave town now. Helicopters are easing off overhead and we're here to just quickly look back over the week's events. With me is our special projects manager, Connor Lennon. Connor, what's your assessment of how the week has gone? Well, let's take a look at the context. This year's World Economic Forum annual meeting took place against the backdrop of considerable political and economic uh, instability and uncertainty. We have the incoming United States administration, which has been taking up a lot of the headlines, actually coming into power as we record this piece today. And the other big story was China and China's evolving geopolitical role. Uh, we had the Chinese president Xi Jinping attending, the first time ever a Chinese president has attended a World Economic Forum in all these years. Our CEO Ulrich Spieshofer got the chance to have a chat with him at the beginning of the week, uh, part of a very select group of Swiss CEOs. The theme of this year's World Economic Forum was responsible and responsive leadership. And a little earlier in the week, I had a chat with our CEO and asked him exactly how ABB is leading in this area. Taking the people with us through all the changes that are happening in the world is a key task for responsible leadership. We need to make sure we have a skilled workforce. We need to make sure we understand the future requirements of our people. We need to have the right education in place. We need to understand what does it take to create the newly competitive workforce. CEO Ulrich Spieshofer speaking to us a little earlier in the week. And uh, Connor, of course, for ABB, the high point of the week was the ABB event on the Wednesday night. How did that go? Well, I'm told it was the most popular we've ever done. Uh, more people attending, very high profile customers, CEOs, ministers, ambassadors. And no one left before the end, which I'm told is quite rare in Davos. There are so many yeah. competing events taking place. Everyone was, uh, was glued to their seats to see what our CEO had to say. And also our guest speaker. His name is David Orta. He's an MIT professor of economics and one of the world leading authorities on the way in which the digital transformation is and will affect employment. He flew out from the US to be with us and share his vision of the way automation and technology have consistently improved living standards and created more jobs and better jobs. And the feedback from a number of guests was that they were very pleased to hear this very positive take on the subject. Automation, which we're obviously in a period of very rapid automation, it's not like global warming. It's a good thing. We're, it means productivity increases. It's not a curse that we have to deal with. It's a benefit of all of our, uh, of our science and our investment. But uh, it does create real challenges. The set of jobs that we'll be facing are, uh, are rapidly evolving. And we have a growth of high skill, high wage, satisfying jobs, and simultaneously a growth of in-person services, food service, cleaning, security, uh, uh, home health, he health aids, and the contraction of the middle. And that's a real challenge. David Orta speaking to us there this week in Davos. And Connor, for people looking at this and trying to understand why big companies like ABB uh, want to get involved with WEF, can you talk us through that? Well, the World Economic Forum annual meeting is sometimes criticised as being little more than a talking shop. But uh, there's much more to it than that. You can imagine all these interactions in such a tiny little village in the Alps mm. does create new opportunities, uh, new relationships are formed. And uh, that's pretty much the take of our chairman, Peter Voser, when I spoke to him before our event. Yeah, the World Economic Forum is very important for ABB because we have a great chance to meet in a very short period a lot of customers, uh, shareholders, other stakeholders like governments, ministers, prime ministers and it, uh, you can have a good talk about what ABB can actually deliver uh, especially now in this digital world uh, where everybody is uh, struggling to find out what, what one should do and I think it's a great occasion for us to actually promote our technology and innovation drive. ABB chairman Peter Foser talking to us there at ABB's event here in Davos and Connor, even outside our event, ABB was very visible around town in Davos this year. It was pretty hard to miss us, actually. You could see us on the train coming up to Davos and on billboards all over town. And it was all driving home what our CEO has been saying about being on the forefront when it comes to responsive and responsible leadership and ensuring as many people as possible are empowered to reap the benefits of the fourth industrial revolution. As you know, this is something ABB is already deeply committed to, making sure that we bring our employees along on the digital transformation 
transformation. Uh, we have many programs in place in developed and emerging markets. And I urge everyone to watch again the ABB video that was produced just before the World Economic Forum, which explains exactly what is happening in that area. And I'm just looking at some breaking news that's come through just now for this morning uh, as we speak on Friday, the last day of the WEF annual meeting 2017, that uh, ABB has committed to joining the Global Apprenticeship Network, which is promoting skills for business and jobs for youth. And uh, we can see uh, some pictures there of Ulrich Spieshofer introducing that event, which was bright and early this morning. So that's about it for WEF uh, 2017, where ABB is, of course, a strategic partner. We'll be back again uh, next year for another week of uh, chilly networking. Until then, you can keep up with everything we're doing on this theme and all others via ABB's uh, social media channels on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube.